I particularly enjoyed this interview with John. He's soft-spoken, but he leaves nuggets, little treasures, strewn throughout this interview. See how many of them you can find. Okay, the first question is, uh, what are your dreams, John? What are your hopes? Um, yeah, that's tricky, because I, I think there's been different times in my life where I was really working off the dreams, or had a lot of dreams, and then there were other, there's other times in my life where maybe I forget what my dreams are, and I just get stuck in the day-to-day the -day grind. Um, you know, early on, when I was in grade school, I had a dream to become a computer programmer. I had a dream to be an astronaut. I, and back then, computers were kind of at the forefront and everybody thought they were gonna change the world, which I guess in a lot of ways they have. So I wanted to be a part of that. Um, that's somewhat come true in the field I'm in. I don't necessarily write programs, but I am in the industry and it's been a blessing and a curse in the end. Um, so do you, what are your dreams right now then? Yeah. Do you have, what are some of the hopes? So, you, would, if you, you could be thinking about your children, you would think yeah. about the world. So right now I've got, um, you know, kids and a wife. And so I have dreams that the kids will find um, happiness. They'll find a career, a way of life that brings them joy, brings them happiness. Um, I have a dream that they'll graduate from college with no debt. <laughs> um, for my wife and I, I dream that uh, we'll have time to be able to go and, and be um, together more and travel to see more of the world and uh, hopefully have our perspectives changed as we see um, more countries, more people. It's, uh, I guess, what's the difference between a dream and a goal, you know? I, I, have, a, I have a lot of goals and uh, maybe the dream helps give you energy mm -hmm. to, to drive the goal, I don't know. Um, but those are a few things that come top of mind. I have a dream that in this area we can have a mindfulness center, a place where the community can come and practice. We have that a little bit with um, the Sangha, but actually a place where we could hold retreats. We could have um, like-minded groups participate and use that space. You mentioned that you'd had dreams about astronaut and computer programmer, and you are uh, in the computer industry right now. Did yeah. you have any dreams earlier than that or before that or? Um, not that just jumped right to mind. I mean, mm. uh, probably just the basic dreams that, that uh, a lot of people have growing up. Mm. Uh, having a what kind of place am I going to live in? Am I going to get married? And, uh, just dreams about education, about jobs. Um, I mean, some of the dreams were pretty fantastic, like being an astronaut and just mm. probably grew into yeah. all kinds of, of things there. But you've always kind of been an adventurer. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I I, I, I could see I could see you being an astronaut actually, as now that you say it, yeah. uh, or having been an astronaut. Maybe I don't know how the age yeah. limits are anymore. But uh, if if you were going to talk to somebody, let's say you could go back and talk to your thirteen year old self, and you could uh, tell you something that would might change your life back then, or or you would follow your advice 
as a 13 year old, what would be uh, something you might tell yourself? Some counsel? Or... Yeah, if I could go back and talk to my younger self, I think, I think most of the advice would be to to take time and really look around. I feel like most of my youth and even early 20s, early 30s, I was following a lot of the dreams of what society had prescribed for me and what mm. the culture had prescribed. So I hadn't really taken a lot of time to really think, is this something I want to do or is this something um, I'm expected to do. Yeah, yeah. and so it, that's what I would go tell myself. I would kind of shake myself a little bit and say, look around, um, be open, um, which would be hard to, because I think my younger self would be like, you're crazy. Yeah. So if you were going to talk to kids nowadays, yeah. same, same advice? But it's or? the same advice to stay open, to not um, think that necessarily what you're being told or what you believe then will hold true 30 years later. And, and it's mm. obvious advice, I think. But I think it would have helped. I, I had a moment in my 30s where I just looked back and thought, wow, I had all these things I was doing, accomplishments, but how many of those was I actually doing to fulfill a dream of mine? Or was that dream of mine somebody else's dream and I was doing it to help um, with expectations and it wasn't terrible. I feel good when I look back at what, what I've done and, and things, but I think uh, in my 30s there's been a lot more realization about who I am and um, more of what I believe that might have helped shape some of the decisions I made earlier on. Cool. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, you know, it's tricky staring into a camera. Yeah, a, I'm sorry. But it's trying, not very personal, is yeah, it? Yeah, I'm trying For... to think. Um, but it's an interesting question to reflect on. Certainly, what are your dreams? I, because I've realized that there's been moments in my life where I've had more dreams and was very aware of what those were. And then periods, long periods of life where I've kind of forgotten those and just kind mm. of checked the boxes and continued to, to do what I thought was productive. Um, so maybe some advice there would be to write them down or put, um, have some kind of a way to check back in and reflect a little more. Like journaling or something, maybe? Yeah, something. Because oh. it, it wasn't until you asked me that I thought, oh, what are, what are my dreams? At work, I'll, I'll have daydreams. I don't want to be here. I'd rather be up <laughs> in the mountains. Or, but, um, but it made me reflect a little deeper. Really, what, what do I want to see in the next year, the next five years, the next 40 years? If, that happens. Alrighty. It's a good exercise. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.